Well, we are hearing exclusively tonight from a South Jersey mother mourning her son and now taking action. 10 year old Matthew McCloskey was hit and killed by a Franklin Township police officer responding to a call for help. Matthew's mother is planning to file a lawsuit now against the township and tonight she broke her silence speaking with only eyewitness news reporter David Spunt. Just his hugs and his kisses and I just always telling me he loved me. 10 year old Matthew McCloskey's mother Michelle Harding says she'll never get over her son's death. He was hit and killed by a Franklin Township police officer three days after Christmas on Delcy Drive around dinner time. McCloskey and two friends were crossing the street when he was hit. I miss him every single day, every morning, every night. Police say officer Nicholas Losalento was on his way to a non emergency call in the area. The area where McCloskey died was a 50 mile an hour zone. Police say Losalento was going 74 and was not using his emergency lights and siren when he hit and killed the 10 year old. And there was no reason why those lights shouldn't have been on. Following an investigation, the Gloucester County Prosecutor's Office decided not to charge Los Salento. Their findings indicated Los Salento was not required to have his emergency lights on for the non-emergency call, citing procedure. Michelle Harding says that procedure is a problem, and that's why she's suing the department. Fuse your lights 80 miles an hour in a residential area. Harding insists. Her son would have never crossed the road if he saw emergency lights, and she's hoping her lawsuit will change police procedure. If anything comes out of this, I need him to be a beacon of change so this doesn't happen to any other child. I reached out to the law firm representing the township and asked about the pending lawsuit. I was told there would be no comment until they actually see a lawsuit. Reporting from Franklin Township, David Spunt, CBS3 Eyewitness News.